Hey guys, I got a few comments asking for text or logo animation. So let's make a Disney text logo animation today. Let's go. In Procreate Dreams, create a new file. From the templates, I choose widescreen. Set frames per second to 12. Click draw. I've already created a palette of the Disney colors we'll be using. Let's set the background color first. You can simply drag the color to the background and set full duration. But I like it when the entire file is filled. That's why I set it manually. Select background color and adjust. And the filled frame can be deleted. Now let's put the Disney logo on the canvas. I click add, photos, and I choose the previously downloaded file. The logo should be in PNG format with a transparent background. The logo is black now, but we'll recolor it later. Let's stretch it and center it. And now let's rename it logo. Next, duplicate this layer. Turn off the first layer. Let's move on to creating a mask. On the new track, select white color. I will use the studio pen brush. Now we draw a white shape on top, repeating the first letter. You don't have to do it carefully. The main thing is that the entire black outline is under our white one. Great, let's apply full duration to this frame. And apply mask layer mask. And duplicate this layer. Place it on top and apply mask to clipping mask. And rename it to color. This will be a color layer. For the first layer, I want to use blue, so let's apply that. Great, group these tracks. Go to a new track, choose white color. Now we will draw a smooth appearance of the letter. Start drawing the appearance of the line in white. The outline should overlap the letter. In the next frame, we draw a line a little larger. Now let's go to the timeline and group the layers. Apply a layer mask. Stretch the group to the width of the composition. Apply transparency to the group. Great. Now duplicate the frame and finish drawing the appearance. This will need to be repeated until the letter D appears completely it is important to make the speed non-linear so that the animation is more interesting. That is why I accelerate in the middle of the letter and reduce the speed on the turns. Okay, what to do when we reach the intersection of lines? Here we need to be very careful. We draw the line so as to finish drawing its outline at the intersection. Let's move on, we have another intersection ahead. Let's look at the preview. Now we need to finish drawing the last line. To do this, go to the frame where the line has not yet fully appeared and begin to finish drawing the appearance. Next, let's remove the transparency from the group and look at the preview. Great. Now we make a group by length for the whole composition and apply full duration to the last frame. So, the base for the first letter is ready. Now we group it, duplicate it, and place the duplicate on top. We want to make a shift in appearance so that a second color is added. On the color layer, apply a fill of lighter blue. Next, we move the group with the appearance one frame forward. On the first empty frame, we draw a random point and also apply a layer mask. Let's watch the preview. Now add the third layer. Duplicate the second group and visit from above. 
Next, fill the layer with white and duplicate the additional layer in the group with the appearance. Let's watch the preview. Group all three layers into one group. Rename it D. Let's move on to creating the movement. Move forward a few frames and apply Move, Move and Scale. Go to the first frame and move the letter to the right. If you click on one of the dots, an additional rotation assistant will appear. Now we put another keyframe a few frames ahead, and in the middle one we add a compensatory rotation. Preview. I think it looks good. What do you think? And we move on. Let's consolidate this knowledge and go over the second letter together. Let's move on to the first layer with the logo. Duplicate it and move it up. You can turn off the layer with the letter D for now. Now draw a white outline on a new layer that covers the letter I. Apply full duration. And apply a layer mask. Now make a second duplicate. Place it up and change the mask to clipping mask. And fill it with the desired color. Group the three tracks. On a new layer, draw the appearance from the beginning of the point. When we draw two frames, create a group. Apply transparency. Apply a layer mask. And stretch the group in width on the timeline. I adjust the outline and we continue drawing the appearance through the duplicates. Let's look at the preview. Super. Let's move on to the frame where the point almost appeared and finish drawing the appearance of the line. Wonderful. Remove transparency from the group, stretch the duration and apply full duration to the frame. What's next? Group it. Duplicate it. Recolor the layer. Next, move the group with the appearance to the right. Draw a random point and apply a layer mask. And now we have the third layer left. Duplicate the group. And duplicate the first frame in the group with the appearance. Recolor the layer white. Group all three groups. Let's rename the group to I. Now move it to the very top. Turn on the layer with the letter D. Now we move on to adding movement. I apply move and scale. And, similar to the letter D, I make an animation of movement from right to left. Don't forget to add rotation and compensation. Let's see what we got. Now we need to do the same for the other letters to finish the animation. Let's look at the accelerated shooting of the letter S. I will repeat all these steps again. In the meantime, while you're watching, I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you that I've launched a sponsorship on my channel. As a subscription bonus, you'll get early access to my videos, additional full videos without cuts and accelerations from the beginning to the end of filming. I'll also be attaching all my animation sources so that you can study this in more depth. You can check out the levels in my profile by clicking the Sponsorship button. Well, let's see what happened with the letter S. 
Now let's do the same with the remaining three letters. I'll turn on ultra speed so that you can watch the final. So guys, we've made a text animation of the appearance. What do you think about today's lesson? Write comments and don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Thanks and see you in the next videos.